Hey guys, Sh just a short video to say that uh, I am actually feeling bearish again. Uh, my last video I said that um, uh, as two weeks back or so that um, or a week, uh, two weeks uh, that I was bullish again. Of, uh, feeling bullish meaning 60% uh, bullish 40% bearish like my allocation also is uh, in crypto 60% 40% fiat but today I um, changed my mind and um, I'm feeling more bearish again uh, meaning it's not with conviction uh, only 60% bearish 40% bullish I will not let that reflect in my portfolio because the crypto I have are positions that I've set uh, when I bought it, uh, that I would just keep it and never trade it. And that was Bitcoin Cash and uh, Byteball in the middle of 2017. Um, of course, Byteball I had already since end uh, 2016. But then I sold um, about half when it pumped a lot early 2017. And then I bought back strongly uh, and a lot more um, uh, when it uh, dumped very hard in the middle of 2017. And... Um, or uh, actually the, the yeah and, and the same with bitcoin cash um i bought uh, before it was launched in uh, august uh, 1st of august the week before in a future market at around about 0 0.1 bitcoin but at the time bitcoin was uh, valued considerably lower uh, that was uh, valued only three thousand dollars and so 0 0.1 was about 300 dollars that's the price that uh, bitcoin cash was launched uh, and um that went up and then down um, and uh, I bought some more uh, a couple months later at 0 0.08 uh, Bitcoin but then Bitcoin was already a lot higher but uh, but so every time I bought these uh, I also made videos then at the time um, I bought them I shared that these were positions I was buying uh, to keep um, and um, and that means that um, it doesn't matter how big they become as a percentage of my portfolio. Uh, I don't sell it. Uh, I'm only planning to spend it uh, on goods and services. Or if I don't agree any longer uh, with how it's led, uh, if I think it's not a good investment anymore, I will exchange it for other crypto coins. Uh, so that's what I told to myself and I'm keeping to that. And that's why I didn't sell any of it. Uh, at the end of 2017 when I shared videos that I was very bearish uh, about uh, 2018 I think it would go down a lot uh, but still I, I said to myself I will not I can't sell now uh, uh, so I have to prepare for a, a, a big loss and that's also what happened my portfolio is cut in half since uh, the past two months since the end of actually no since the peak um, and the peak was when Bitcoin Cash together with Byball was pumping uh, and that was at, uh, in December 2017. Uh, after that, uh, Bitcoin reached its all-time high at 20,000 uh, somewhere in January. Um, uh, but okay, uh, so, so, so um, if I look at my peak, I'm half, uh, I lost half um, and um, that sucks, but uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm actually not feeling bad about it. Um, but but so um, I was bearish uh, and uh, I, I did that very well uh, because uh, well when I released that uh, bearish video that 2018 will be a bad year actually crypto was at 550 billion market cap it continued to go up in January to about uh, 750 billion not 800 because this was wrong information it was based on Korean prices that were out of touch with reality and that's because of the exchange rate, uh, uh, like uh, the value of crypto was 20% higher in the Korean exchanges uh, expressed in US dollar. But if you get US dollar in Korea, you couldn't get it out. Huh? So if you would want to get it out, you actually need to take a 20% haircut also uh, because there are strong, um, um, how do you call that? Uh, yeah, you just can't send US dollars from Korea to, to, to the US, for example. So. Uh, uh, that's why the prices were a lot higher in Korea, but um, not in reality. Uh, and so uh, that's why coin market cap changed um, uh, these valuations of Korean price and didn't take them into account any longer um, uh, to calculate uh, the total uh, market cap. And then 
it dropped to 750 immediately. So that's the peak, 750 billion uh, for the total market. Uh, and so um, uh, we're now at uh, 400 billion. Um, um, so it went from 550 to 400, um, 400, 400, something like that, 450. Um, so my bearish call was correct uh, up until one week ago when I had more of a bullish call. And since then, well, uh, the market has uh, gone down. Uh, so one week ago, I was wrong to be bullish. Um, but but uh, but overall, I did very well because when the market crashed strongly in January, February, from eighteen thousand uh, dollars for Bitcoin to six thousand dollars, about around seven thousand dollars, I made a new video saying that well, um, uh, don't underestimate the bear market and don't bully other projects. Um, uh, but uh, equally saying that the odds were high that we could get a strong rebound to about half of what was lost. So on eighteen to six. You go back up 50% of what was lost, uh, you end up at around 12,000 uh, US dollars, and that's what happened. Uh, and then a week ago, I, I, I had a bullish video, but I think I was wrong there. Um, uh, we, we saw the rebound now, um, and so the question is, what happens next? If we're in a bull market, then this will not be a rebound, but it will continue to go up or sideways for some time, but uh, in the end, break the all-time high of uh, 18,000 uh, US dollars for Bitcoin. Um, uh, and so, uh, if you're bullish, uh, that's what you're, what needs to happen. Uh, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, the odds, it's always an estimation of odds. I think odds are low for that to happen. Uh, even though uh, I stand by most of the content of my video, that stock markets indeed uh, will continue to do well um, over the next decade. Uh, and crypto also, in the long term, it all looks very good. But in the short term, um, uh, stock markets do not look good. Uh, they, can, they can certainly correct uh, as they have started. They have had a, a parabolic rise uh, more and more. And then this year they have the first strong correction uh, that happened. Uh, but of course, right now, nothing's happening in the stock market. Uh, but it could certainly be that it continues to correct uh, for this year. And, um, and then, um, of course, all bets are off for crypto and we will get a strong bear market in crypto and we will get, again, a 90% correction from the high for Bitcoin, meaning um, 18,000 minus 90% is 2,000. Eh? So uh, that's for Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. But um, And so that's the risk here. But even if the, the stock market does not correct strongly and continues, well, sideways or up uh, i still think there is a very good chance to, for uh, for for um, for crypto uh, to correct at least back to the 6000 uh, low um, not to the 2000 then um, and that's also the case if um, we would get a new all time high this year 2018 if we get indeed a third leg up uh, uh, then still i think uh, odds are good for it to first correct to 6,000 and only then to go back up. Um, um, but of course, if we get a really strong correction in stock market, in crypto market, and we go to 2,000, then there's not going to be a new all-time high in 2018. And indeed, then 2018 will end on a bad note. So um, uh, that's my view. Um, uh, and um, that's the most important thing. Um, so, so why am I bearish again? Um, well, there are you know, a lot of indicators that show that this is a typical uh, crypto bubble collapse. Uh, if you look at Google search trends, um, you can see that the search... Uh, the amount of people searching for Bitcoin has really collapsed and the same for uh, altcoins and cryptocurrency and BTC. All these search terms uh, have collapsed um, strongly. Uh, uh, much more than the price. Uh, and I think it's important because um, usually uh, the search terms are ahead of the price. Um, 
Actually, that's not true. Uh, I could be wrong in that. I don't know that. Uh, but uh, I do notice that uh, the collapse in search is a lot higher than the collapse in, in the price. So, so that's a negative for me. Um, also, uh, another indicator I think is very interesting is Coinometrics.io, a Twitter channel. Uh, and uh, I will uh, post a link uh, below in the description of the video, the link to them. But they also have good uh, analysis on, on basically uh, the NVT ratio, meaning um, uh, how much transaction is valued on the blockchain, sorry, uh, transmitted on the blockchain compared to the value of the blockchain, compared to the price of the coin, uh, the total value. And, and, and there you can, that's an interesting metric. Um, but he's also seeing that the, 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 the amount of value that's transmitted on the, on, on the, on the, on the chains, uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, is, is just collapsing. And people stop sending money. Uh, uh, the amount of transactions is also collapsing for everybody, uh, especially for Bitcoin. It's now lower than two years ago. The amount of transactions on the Bitcoin network, this is just unbelievable. Um, and um, never seen before, never. Uh, uh, Bitcoin always had strong growth in the amount of transactions. Of course, during a bear market, it goes down, but never back, never, never uh, so much down that it's the same high that was two years before. So this is a real negative for Bitcoin. Uh, but also the other coins uh, are going down amount of transactions, but some, of course, a lot less, uh, like Ethereum. Um, looks very good actually uh, if you just look within the crypto verse ethereum is the best value today uh, it has two or three times the amount of transactions of bitcoin but it's lower uh, valued lower and also compared to like bitcoin cash for example um, like the nvt ratio is the same for bitcoin cash versus bitcoin um, I mean, you have to take a mixture there because an NVT ratio looks at the fiat value transmitted on the chain, but you can also do another uh, ratio where you don't look at the fiat value transmitted on the chain, but because for Bitcoin, that's of course still high as, as that's still used for high value transactions. Eh? But if you look at amount of transactions um, versus um, the value of the network, uh, then you will see that uh, Bitcoin Cash was very, very uh, overvalued when it launched. It was immediately 10% of Bitcoin value, but it did not have 10% of, of the transactions of Bitcoin. But that, in the meantime, Bitcoin Cash has catched up and has now the same amount of transactions compared to its value as Bitcoin. So from that perspective, it's the same interesting uh, or non-interesting buy. Eh? Um, but for Ethereum, this is very different. Like the amount of transaction of Ethereum is extremely high. Eh? Uh, and an amount of value transmitted on the Ethereum network is, is much higher compared to its value. So um, um, that's just very interesting to see. Um, uh, and so, um, yeah, uh, I think, um, um, yeah, uh, of course, um, a bear market uh, will, uh, will shake out all coins, uh, even great coins like Ethereum. Uh, and so, but but if we get a bear market, I think something like Ethereum could be a good buy that I finally will do after so many years uh, sitting on the sidelines. But um, but yeah, for Ethereum, it basically went up from zero to thousand US dollars uh, in two three years time, becoming almost the biggest coin eh, coming from nowhere, nothing at all. Eh? It was launched in 2014, so this has been the best performing coin by far. Of course, the ICO also raised a lot of money, so. Uh, if you look at total returns, of course, many other coins have outperformed Ethereum, um, but um, but uh, but Ethereum, uh, well, uh, could be a great buy if we get uh, a, a real bear market. This, uh, and so in fiat, this also needs to correct strongly. Um, uh, also, what what convinced me that we're in a, a bull market, uh, sorry, a bear market, is that uh, that uh, Bitcoin dominance is going up again. It was. Um, uh, bottomed at about 33%, but it's now back at uh, 44% or so. So, um, and this is also typical for only two phases, either you're in a bull market and, uh, and so altcoins just went up a lot and, and now they are uh, correcting and it's time for Bitcoin to back, go back up again. But, uh, but uh, this is not happening. Bitcoin is not going up, it's going down. Uh, uh, so, uh, but the dominance of Bitcoin is going up is also typical for a bear market. 
uh, and so um, that just confirms that we're in bear market. Ethereum also stopped going up versus uh, Bitcoin. But but for uh, so if you indeed get a, a bear market here, uh, you basically uh, can uh, well prepare very well uh, to buy uh, good coins uh, for the next bull market. I think Ethereum is is just almost a no-brainer. We'll have to see how deep it goes. Eh? Uh, but uh, in fiat, I think if you can buy this for, I don't know, uh, two, three hundred dollars, uh, and so it's good by 50, 60 percent from here, um, 70 percent, uh, that's what will happen in a bear market. Then that's probably a very good buy, as in the next bull market, Ethereum will become a lot bigger uh, than Bitcoin and will become clearly the leader. Right? This is written in the stars. Um, unless some catastrophe happens there, like uh, Vitalik dies, of course, and then it's finished. I mean, then it's a different story, because yeah? uh, that's the risk with Ethereum. But uh, but other than that, uh, this looks very good. Uh, and I think Bitcoin Cash also will be a very good buy in this bear market, um, because um, it's just uh, shifting. Um, um, I mean, it, it, all these coins will have a hard time to go up versus Bitcoin in a bear market. And so they will continue to be valued uh, relatively um, low, you could say, versus Bitcoin. Um, uh, and, and probably will even drop versus Bitcoin, continue to drop in a bear market. And so these will become the very, the very interesting buys. The ones that, well, you know, it will drop more than Bitcoin, but will in the next bull market become go, go a lot more up, more up than Bitcoin. And I think uh, for Bitcoin Cash, it's just really laying the foundations for that to happen also. Huh? Uh, and it's so uh, I can see it in the next bull market become uh, double, uh, just double, just a total disaster for Bitcoin. Seeing not only Ethereum become bigger, much bigger, but also Bitcoin Cash, maybe to parity or higher. Um, this is, I think, uh, very uh, possible. Uh, um, um, you can see it just shifting now already. Uh, the fundamentals always become better for Bitcoin Cash. The amount of merchants adopting it, the amount of service providers, payment uh, providers, wallets. Um, uh, these are all like starting to adopt Bitcoin Cash at a much faster rate uh, than Bitcoin is expanding. Mm. And, uh, and, and of course also people, uh, uh, people, uh, opinion, leaders. Uh, also slowly are shifting uh, uh, and becoming mass, less hateful towards Bitcoin Cash or even um, admitting that they uh, have been wrong or that they have started buying Bitcoin Cash. All these things are happening today. Uh, and so uh, you can see that shift happening. But in the price, not. Eh? In the price, it's just still only valued at 10% of Bitcoin. So that's it. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. And uh, I wish you a good day. Bye.